P. Sherman Tech here. Today I want to give you a little overview of the BUV 2.0 Beach Utility Vehicle, uh, aka Beach Cart. And uh, so let me just show you what we got here. All right, so what we've got here is a steel frame that I welded, or I grinded together. Uh, first time trying welding. I bought one of those Harbor Freight titanium welders, seemed to do pretty good, but Again, I think I spent more time grinding my welds than I did welding. Now, these are a lawn tractor tires, very large, uh, 20, 20 inch uh, tires that I got off of eBay. I got everything for this build uh, from any, any number of online resources, eBay, Amazon, Lowe's, um, robots shops, uh, go-kart shops. I did a little research into what things I would need and then I went and looked for them online. Um, but again, we've got a steel frame that I painted and I put these tires on. The front tires I got from Lowe's, they're also lawn tractor tires. Uh, they fit a 5 8 spindle. I got the, uh, the spindles um, from, I think a go-kart shop. Maybe it was eBay. I think I got it from eBay. They have a five inch spindle, and I welded the brackets onto the crossbar. And back here we have a one inch diameter axle steel uh, with a, a large six inch sprocket and a number 25 chain. And then we have a 500 watt motor here, uh, 24 volts capable. And there's some bearings down there for the axle. And there you have that. Up front here, <clears throat> I found a uh, this water-resistant box on Amazon. I looked at it yesterday. It's not available anymore. Uh, but I looked out on that, trying to find something that would fit in this frame. I didn't think ahead that I would need to fit something in there. I thought, well, I didn't have any idea really. But I did find this. I will uh, make a hatch in the platform that I put up here, the basket, that I can lift this out when I'm not using it. I'm doing a little charging right now. I left my battery on for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. I think it uh, drained most of it. I hope it didn't ruin my batteries. But the motor connects, the motor and the steering servo connect, and uh, obviously the charging cable connects to uh, external ports. And I'll show you the wiring in a few minutes, but, uh, but I've got... Uh, some switches here, I've got a voltmeter, I've got a voltmeter switch, I've got a charging switch to turn on the charging, and then I have a, this is the 12 volt accessory um, switch here that I'll turn on in a minute. And then this is the switch for the motor. And this will connect the electricity to the motor and the motor controller. Um, underneath I've got a, I don't know if you can see it, it's a, a steering servo that I got at Servo City. I think it has a four inch uh, push and 125 pounds of force or something like that. Um, it's kind of slow. I wish I had gotten a little faster one. I did buy a faster one for my other beach utility vehicle, uh, but it only has a two inch push. And then you can see that the steering uh, connects to the box uh, through a port here. This steering servo has a potentiometer built in, so um, so it provides feedback uh, to an Arduino, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and this is a standard uh, remote control controller. It's a dumb orc. I have no idea what a dumb orc is, but it doesn't look that dumb. Uh, but it's just a standard um, remote control for a car. Three channels, I think. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you the inside. <clears throat> um, all right, so you can see there are two 12 volt motorcycle batteries uh, connected in series for 24 volts. Um, up front here, we have the uh, motor controller. This is for the uh, 500 watt motor. This is a Siren 50. Uh, it's very simple, um, not, not a whole lot of settings. There's no USB hookup um, like the, uh, what are they? The, can't remember the name of them. There's another brand that makes 
make motor controllers like this. Anyway, I, I had one of those. I tried it. I had a, some problems with it, and they, I sent it back and got this one. Um, so up front, we have a, a an Arduino with a, an add-on board here just for more wiring hookups. I've got a IBT2 motor controller here for the steering. And below that, I've got a um, 24 to 12 volt converter uh, to run my fan. I've got a fan down there, cool case fan, just a regular computer case fan. And that also powers the Arduino. And, and that's it, I think. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, then of course, here is the remote control receiver, the Arduino and the Siren hook up to the uh, motor controller or to the uh, RC receiver, and uh, so that's I think that's about it. If I think of anything else, I'll go ahead and add it on here at the end. And when it when it's charged up, I'll do it. I'll add on a quick demo here. Okay, so here is a quick demo of the steering, how the steering works. Um, the reason I use an Arduino is so that I could uh, have the steering return to straight uh, when I release the steering wheel mechanism here. So I'll show you when I turn it to the right, the steering turns, and when I release the wheel, the steering returns to the center. So I had to write a, a little Arduino script uh, to do that. All right, that's it. So if you like this video, uh, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below in the comments and I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching.